DB scan is a clustering technique which can cluster any shape. It is a widely used algorithm and only relies on two parameters, epsilon and minimum points. Epsilon is a distance parameter. You can think of it like a radius from a given data point that broadcasts out in all directions, forming a perimeter around the data point. Minimum points is the second parameter you must specify. Before we get to that, I'll define two key terms. The first I'll call the starting point. The starting point is a randomly selected data point that will attempt to start a cluster. In this image, the green circle represents the starting point. The second term is core point. Core points are data points which fall within epsilon of the starting point. In this image, all gray circles are core points. The white circles are not core points because they aren't within epsilon of the starting point. Minimum points is the minimum number of core points, including the one starting point, that must exist for a cluster to be formed. In this example, there are seven points within epsilon of the starting point, including the starting point itself. Thus, if minimum points is set to seven or less, a cluster would be formed. However, if minimum points was set to eight or more, these data points could not initiate a cluster. Once a cluster is formed, that cluster can continue to grow. Each member of that cluster will broadcast out their own perimeters looking for new data points that could join the cluster. In this step, you can see the core points did in fact find new members to join the cluster. These points have been made blue. All the blue points in this example are considered border points. This means they are part of the cluster but are not within epsilon of the starting point. Now these new members will cast out their own perimeter and search for even more members to join the cluster, but in this case, they don't find any. Because new members are not found, this cluster is finalized. I've turned all members of the first cluster blue. However, you will notice there are three white points still unclustered. Now we will restart the process by randomly selecting one of the remaining unclustered points. I have again designated the starting point green. I won't run through the steps again, but this iterative process continues until every unclustered data point has been looked at. As this algorithm finishes running, it may eventually form multiple clusters as seen in this example. But note, this red group could only form if the minimum points was set to three or less. Now that you understand how dbscan works, I'll show you a start to finish visualization of the running algorithm found at naftaliharris.com.